Des Moines, Iowa, an Iowa care home is being fined $10.000 after declaring one of its residents dead and transferring her to a funeral home, where she was found to still be alive. A report from the Iowa Department of Inspection and Appeals says the mistaken death declaration occurred on January 3rd after a staff member at the Glen Oak Alzheimer's Special Care Center in Urbandale reported that the woman, 66, had died about 6 a.m. The report said the woman, who had early onset dementia, anxiety and depression, had been in hospice care since December 28th. The staff member reported she could no longer feel the woman's pulse and alerted a nurse practitioner, who made the death declaration, the report said. Iowa allows nurses and physicians assistants, in addition to doctors, to declare a patient dead. The report also said that the woman previously had suffered minor seizures and showed signs of mottled skin, a sign of approaching death. About 90 minutes after the woman was declared dead, she was taken to the Ankeny Funeral Home and Crematory in a zipped body bag, the report said. When she arrived, funeral home staff unzipped the bag and saw that her chest was moving as she gasped for air. Staff then called 911. The Ankeny Fire Department responded to the call, which it said reported a person in apparent cardiac arrest. That proved incorrect, the department said, and the woman was taken to a hospital, where she was found to be breathing, though unresponsive. More, 60-year-old dies after spectator fight at Vermont Middle School basketball game, cause of death pending Columbia, American finance worker arrested in Columbia, accused of killing popular DJ girlfriend the woman was returned to hospice care, where she died January 5 according to the Department of I. The agency found the Urbandale Care Center had failed to provide adequate direction to ensure appropriate cares and services were provided regarding the declaration of the patient's death. Lisa Eastman, executive director of the Glen Oaks Alzheimer's Special Care Center, said the facility has been in close communication with the family of the woman. We care deeply about our residents and we remain fully committed to supporting their end-of-life care.